Greetings, Commanders. We were joking the other day on the Xenostrike Force Discord about doing a blindfolded fight against a Fargoid Interceptor. As often is the case, one of these very difficult fights starts as a joke, as an idea of something that is so difficult that it is barely possible, or even maybe potentially impossible. And it got me thinking. I started wondering, with the gimbaled enhanced anti xeno multi-cannons, and with their even more powerful variants, the Azimuth pre-engineered multi-cannons, whether it would be possible, with the help of a fellow commander who guides you in the fight, to actually be able to take on an interceptor while wearing a blindfold. This is a story of our attempts. Every job needs the right tools for the job. In the case of this particular attempt, we needed three things. We needed a blindfold, for which my very nice sleep mask conveniently worked. And as you can see from this, it's very dark, can't see absolutely anything. Uh, intent and purpose of a sleep mask. Second thing, you need a very good co-pilot. And I can't stress how good Commander Arian Royce was in this fight. In fact, I want to argue being the co-pilot in this fight is the hardest part. Being able to provide good and clear directions in a way that the actual pilot can understand and react to appropriately in a timely fashion, incredibly difficult. In fact, the hardest thing of this fight overall. So huge kudos to Commander Irene Royce, from whom we'll hear in a moment, for doing this with me and guiding me through this fight. And third, you need a ship that is able to actually do the fight. And for the purpose of this fight, We've modified the tried and tested Titan Killer build of the Crate Mark II, uh, which is now equipped with three large pre engineered enhanced multi cannons. These are also known as Azimuth multi cannons, a medium, one of those, and then a medium gimbaled thermal vent beam laser. This beam laser is actually very important, even though it does no damage to the interceptor itself. And even though it actually requires quite a bit of capacitor energy to fire, it is the only way that you're able to tell whether you are actually on target, just in an auditory sense. Because beams hitting the hull of a Fargoid have a very distinctive auditory cue, whereas multi-cannon shots do not, or at least nowhere near as clear. So the beam laser effectively acts as a guide in saying, hey, you're actually on target, stay there, or stick around that general area, or you're not, stop wasting your multi-cannon ammo if you're not on target. That's the main purpose of having a beam laser here. The Azimuth multi-cannons run very hot and are actually not recommended in a Titan Killer build, which is meant to remain in Titan space for an extended period of time. Uh, in this fight, however, which is comparatively a lot shorter, and which makes use of heat sinks, unlike the Titan Killer build, which as a general rule does not, the Azis can be used, as the heat sinks are enough to both power them and cool them. So going hand in hand with these gimbal multi-cannons in the utility mounts, you'll see three serious pre-engineered heat sinks with five sinks each for a total of 15 sinks for the total fight, and critically important, an enhanced Xeno scanner. Without a scanner, it is not possible to subtarget the hearts. Without subtargeting the hearts, the gimbal multi cannons are not able to shoot them down. As a result, this scanner is essential for this particular build. I've experimented with trading some of the heat sinks for other utilities like a shadow field neutralizer or caustic sink launcher, but the reality is I don't feel like I really need the others. I can use silent running and stay cold and avoid triggering the shutdown effects or the caustic missiles in the first place and the number of heat sinks available is already pretty tight to begin with so i feel 15 heat sinks is really the bare minimum to be able to do this uh, with any degree of reliability and the uh, core internals i mean this is this is the rest of this is essentially like a hull tank version of a titan killer build like you'll have uh, uh low emissions power plant with thermal spread you have dirty drives tuning with track drives Lightwave alloys, which probably should have gone mill grade considering the build, but this is what I had in hand. Uh, Charge enhanced power distributor, which is pretty standard, and long range sensors and lightwave life support. On the optional internal, this is a very 
tank-oriented build, as it is not very easy to repair without being able to see. Uh, it's better to go in with as much hull as you can and uh, sufficient modular reinforcement packages to ensure that you survive the fight. In this case, I have four modular reinforcement packages and then everything else is is how reinforcement packages for a total of something in the range of uh 3700 armor as far as we know we are in uncharted territory here and to have any chance at pulling this off mechan and i needed to develop a language of basic commands and procedures i guess you could describe it as a mechan instruction manual Featuring shorthand commands like track and tweak, which would be paired with directions. The track command was used to attempt to follow the Goid's path to keep high time on target, and could also be paired with a speed like track fast or track slow. Tweak meant small corrections, such as when the Goid was on screen but not centered, or if small directional corrections needed to be made while tracking. If a quick orientation change was needed, the command hard could be combined with a direction, which was typically up, such as when the goid was off screen or directly behind us. My role also involved providing important systems information to Mechan at key stages of the fight, such as range, remaining ship hull, and goid shield strength, heat sinks, and heart subtargeting. I quickly discovered that Cycling to the correct heart while also giving tracking instructions was quite difficult. Megan remedied this by learning to navigate to the subtarget menu in the left panel by sound. A nice nod to AXI's Soaring Slepnir challenge. This way we could target an exerted heart even when the Goid wasn't on screen. In what was to become our winning fight, Mechan's stream kept dropping in quality and frame rate which made giving accurate instructions increasingly difficult. Thankfully, rejoining the voice channel resolved the issue for a short time. In the end, it was a hard-won fight after many, many attempts. This challenge required a level of teamwork, coordination, and patience that I haven't encountered before in AX combat, and I'm very grateful to Mechan for the opportunity to fly with him. I am recording, setting throttle to zero in a second and dropping positioning mm -hmm. that's not why the ones with the green those are so hard to see hold on setting setting the things all right i am ready to blindfold blindfold is on select the target am i on the uh, scanner you're not right now now you are. No. Oh, no, 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 not yet. Go back over to the other one. Next fire group. Next fire group. Now you're on it. Okay, open fire. Wait, I want to sub-target the heart. Did I get the heart? Did you get the heart? You, you did, you did. Am I still on target? You are. Open, open fire. fire. You're on target. Boost down. Boost down. Wow. That was a good start. Yeah, except we agitated. No. It, it doesn't it doesn't, oh, it doesn't. When, it, when it launches. Oh, interesting. Okay. Not immediately there's like a time out some time. <laughs> Did he just completely skip his lightning phase? He's firing no, on it, you. It, it fired, but it missed. I think. I presume I was out of range. I can't see obviously. So I don't yeah, you're you're about you're just over three. We're at ninety eight percent hull. You've got. I can't see the heat sink count. It looks like you have three. four. Three or four. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. All right. So can we go back to? Hold on. Can we go? This is. Heart one, right? Which heart, heart one? Was destroyed? Heart, heart one is destroyed. All right, so I have to go basically down one, right? Down one. That's right. I'm you're now on two on now. Two? Yes. All right. So this is as intended. Yep. So you're see at this. You're, you're at five kilometers. Just letting you know. Yeah. yeah okay. Good. Thanks for info. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start arcing. 
He's got 30 35% shield left. We need to like 10, we can engage. Like, All right, 5.2. Yeah, keep inching up. You're getting close to having sights on him. A little bit more. Keep going. He's almost on screen now. He's at five point. I can't tell if that's at five or six because it's deteriorating again. You're a little over six. Yeah, slow down a little bit. Okay, he's uh. He's really much, pretty much in the center of the screen, but he's at five kilometers. I think I tapped him, which is important. Yeah, four kilometers. Oh, at five again. He's. What's he doing? If he was recalling the swarm, I think we're going to jump out. At least that was a six noise. point. Okay, he's closing. Tweak up, track up, slowly. Tweak right while you're tracking up. He's right. Right. Slow, so slow down. Gonna slow down. Yeah, he's he's gonna come up in the. All right, track up. Track up fast. Pause. Sorry. Just slow. Had to slow down. Tweak up. Pause. He's at 4.2 kilometers, but he's pretty much in the center of the stream, chasing you. He's starting to track up left, slowly. Pause. Track. Well, hold on. Um, all right, he's in the center of the screen. Wait, tweak down. Tweak down left. Track. Track. Uh, just tweak left. He's, he's right. All right, tweak down. Tweak down. Fire. Next. Next. All right, on target. All right, uh, track down left. Track down left. Hard. Track down left. Pause. Fire. Fire, fire, fire. Track up right. Slowly. Weak down. Fire. Boost down. Yes! Way to go! Alright. Let's get on one of the two hearts. Go ahead and cycle over. You're, you're on two right now, which is still nominal, so we can target that one. Select it. We're at 4.5 kilometers, 87% hull, five heat sinks on this fire group. Which is a second, by the way. So we oh, whoa, 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 slow down, slow down, slow down, turn around, turn around, turn around. God, you got away so fast. All right, pause. Yeah, just start. Yeah, reversing a little bit there, or, or boot and thrusting forward. Your the stream's deteriorating. I can't tell your distance, but hard down. The swarm is here, so it can't be too bad. Okay, hard up. Actually, he's still at 50% shield, so let's maybe do a wide. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Boosting inside running. Okay. Which green would stop dropping in quality? Should be good now, right? Yeah. Sound. I, I can't tell. I, I really, I can't see any numbers. I, I, you're getting pretty far. I would, I would start boosting up. It's, it's so hard to see the numbers. It's starting. The frame now. The frame rate's dropping. He's in range. My yeah, yeah. Getting, you're, so he's in range. Go ahead. Track up. Oh man, my frame rate is so bad. Um, I can't tell what's going on. Tweak down, tweak down, tweak down. Pause, tweak up, tweak up, fire. Tweak down. Are we on part or no? I, I can't tell. Um, we're not, he's not in front of us. Uh, hard down. Panel, panel. Panel. Uh, next, next one. Next one next down. One. Go down one and select. I think I should be on the right one. Though. Am I? No. Down? Select? Down. Down. Yes. Now, we, now, now it's now, correct? Now it's correct. Alright. And I, I... It's like five frames per second. I can barely tell what's going on. Weak down. I got lightning again. Alright. He's right in front of you. Fire. Fire, 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 fire. 
We got the Yes! Push down, push down, yes. push down. Yes, yes, yes. Silent running. Oof, barely in time. Now I really need your help with range, though. Alright, you're very close. Ah, oh, the stream quality. I can't see the numbers. The five kilometers. Five Oof. kilometers. It should be pretty hot, so hopefully he sees me. But I hope he Yeah, doesn't. he's 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 still I think he's yeah, he's still following. Yeah. You're, you're boosting back like, you're boosting back towards him now. I have to boost fast on this one. Yes, I go ahead. He's go shooting ahead. Go so ahead. the shutdown field is no longer gonna trigger. I almost wonder if I should disconnect and reconnect to the stream. Because it. it's it's alright. Alright, you're 3.3 kilometers, 41% shield on him. He has 72% hull. And you're not on the correct heart. I'm not? You're not. Alright. Go it. up one, up one. Uh, heart two, there you go, you're on it. 4.2 kilometers, he's behind us. 5 kilometers. Alright, 5.2. Shields are in the teens, looks like 16%. To engage. Okay. Um, pause. Tweak down right. He's gonna. He's coming up. He's uh, track up. Track up and tweak right. Shields down. He's just outside of three kilometers. Fire. 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 Pause. Track up slowly. Track up slowly. A little bit faster. A little bit faster. Pause. Tweak down. Pause. Open fire. Tweak up a little bit. Keep firing. Pause. Tweak down. Tweak down right. Tweak right. Tweak up. Tweak up. Tweak up right. Tweak up right. Track. Uh, no wait. Pause. 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 Tweak. Track up right. Track up right. Track up. Pause. Track slow. Tweak down. Just pause. Track. Tweak up left. Tweak up left. Tweak up left. Track up. Track up slowly. Fire. Fire, fire, fire. Track up right very slowly. Fire, 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 fire. Fire, fire, keep firing. Hearts down. Hearts down. Boost away. Boost away. Alright. Quality's dropped again. I can't see your range. Uh, but we are... We have no hearts left. Alright, I'm gonna... Get I'm disconnect... I'm, okay, I'm disconnecting okay. and rejoining. Okay? Yeah. Alright, field, we have 60% hull, 4 heat sinks remaining, your range is 2 kilometers, and 3 kilometers, he's he's up above you and behind. Alright, I should be targeting, I have. I should have targeted the main body now again. You just, you just detargeted him, he was, you were on him, you're, you're not on the right panel, go go to go to your right, you're, you're in your nav panel, no 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 no, go go, Get it. you're in chat panel. You're in chat panel. You're 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 in your. You're there. You go. All right. Go to your right tabs. Tab right. Okay. Now you're on the cyclops. No. Now you're off the cyclops. All right. Now you're on him. His shield is about is, is about twenty percent. He's at just Let's outside three kilometers. Let's hit, it. Let's hit it. All right. All right. He's uh, behind you. Track up. I mean, uh, hard up. Hard up. Fire. Pause. Tweak down. Fire, 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 fire. Uh, track right, very slowly. Track right, harder, harder. Tweak up while you're tracking right. Pause. Tweak down right. Tweak right. Track up. Track up, hard up. Fire, fire. While you're tracking up, fire, 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 fire. Right, track right. 
Freak out. Crack out, crack out. <laughs> Man! <laughs> I am waiting to take these off because I want to make sure I, it, it actually explodes. We got the it. The swarm is dead. We got it. The, sw the swarm is dead? The swarm is dead. Oh, wait. Can't see anything. Oh, man! Man! Woo! What an experience! Whoa. Oh. That was intense. Man, the stream had to be fighting me the entire time. Oh, man. This was like such a workout. Please, please tell me you got that. I, I, As you can tell by my reactions at the end, I really enjoyed doing this fight. It was a great test of partnership with Commander Iron Royce and teamwork. It was also a way of learning a lot new skills with regards to flying against interceptors. It's not being able to use your eyes makes you rely entirely on auditory cues, be they from the game engine itself or from what your co-pilot commander is telling you while making the greatest possible use of muscle memory for all kind of controls, which sometimes work, sometimes don't. Uh, all in all, this fight took me a total of three days to accomplish since he started out uh, practicing just, just a few days back and several dozens attempts. So this isn't something that just we got off at the first try. We have a very long reel of bloopers of us getting destroyed by a lowly cyclops in some of the most creative manners possible while flaying around and firing at empty space in the process. Nevertheless, we hope you've enjoyed this video if that inspires you to enjoy the game with us and continue the fight. So wing up and strike, commanders, and glory to mankind. Oh, and last but not least, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.